Hello, greetings everybody. Hope all is well. All right, so let's wait for some of you guys to come on for our live reading session. For some of you guys to come on. Today has been such an amazing day. So excited, feeling amazing, feeling great. Wait for some of you guys to come on. So it just literally hit me that I'm going to be 36 years old in like, yeah, next week. I'm going to be 36 years old next week. Um, it hit me because today I started receiving birthday presents. I don't know where the presents, I, don't, I have to do some research. I don't know who gave me the presents yet, but um, I have a cool... Um, it's like one of those wireless uh, earpieces here. Like I got a, it, that's neat. And I got like a, I have a crystal bracelet here. Um, so I'm getting presents. So it, it just hit me that um, I'm literally about to be 36. Unfortunately with the deliveries, there's no, um, doesn't say who sent them to me, but I'm gonna find out. So whoever, if you're watching me, you send me, thank you so much, I appreciate them. Appreciate the gifts. I am so excited. I'm actually excited for this new year, this new cycle. All right, so we're gonna do some live energy readings. Um, you guys kind of know the drill. Um, you guys have been on my lives before with the energy readings. Um, so we're gonna get to the point. <laughs> you see the leopard? You know, I was. I'm feeling leopardy today. I'm feeling leopard. I don't know. Um, I went through an animal print phase a while ago. This is an old dress, a really old dress. I went through an animal print phase like a while ago. I don't know if it's a Leo thing or what, but today was the, I don't know. I was in that type of mood. Anyways, so um, how this works. Basically with the energy readings, as you guys know, um, or, or for those who don't know, I do have the gift to be able to read past uh, things see things, feel things, and understand things that most, a lot of people can't. Um, so I have the gift of reading energy, to heal energy and to like to fix energy. I work with energy, I'm like Storm. So, um, <laughs> so basically um, how this works is if you ask me a direct question, uh, it has to be very direct. It can't be something like why, to why my hair, uh, what's my purpose in life? It can't be anything like that. If you want to, if you have a question like that, I would highly recommend that you book a session with me so I can just go ahead and go into detail with you. If you have a question, I ask that you ask it directly um, because what happens is when you ask me a question, and as you can see, I'm writing um, a channel. So what I do is I write down what your energy tells me or what your spirit guides tell me or whatever. I write it down and I and I give you the answer that way. Um, so it's almost like when you ask me a question, I'm reflecting the question back to you. I'm asking you, your subconscious energy or your guides. I'm asking to get the answer, okay? So I needed to be very direct, please. Um, no open-ended questions that are gonna take forever. Um, we're gonna try some new things with this session. So um, this is just something I wanna do to give back. I ask that if you ask a question of me that you share the video, I would greatly appreciate it. As you guys know, we live in a world, a universe that has laws, a law of attraction where you give and receive. So if you have a question, ask that you share the video. I would greatly appreciate it. It might be somebody that can help that might see it. So. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Where is Kimmy? Kimmy, are you here? So I have Kimmy on here with me just to help me to kind of keep track because sometimes um, you guys start asking questions and it gets stuck and I can't see what, it, it, I, I just can't see it. And I don't intentionally skip past you. And people are like, well, you skip past me. And it's like, it's not intentional. I have no vendetta against anybody, I promise you. Um, but I just may not see it. So Kim is on. Uh, I think she's on. She's supposed to help me to kind of like keep con, just just to kind of keep everything under control. Um, one question per person, please. I want to get to as many people as possible because I, I just want to be fair. 
Um, and that's how this works. That's how it rolls. Okay, that's how we roll. Hey, hi, everybody. Hello, Pamela. Hello. Hell hey, Elle. Hi, let me scroll up a little bit. Say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody that said hi. Hey, Christina. Hey, Kim. Oh, okay, Kimmy, there you are. Hey, Marv. Hey, PJ. Hi, hello. How are you? I'll say hi. I think I, I, think I said hi to Christine. Uh-oh. Turn that back around. There we go. Oops. Okay. Nope. There we go. Let's get it right, Candice. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, hey, Ra. Jada King. Hey, what up? Yolanda, what's up? Thank you so much, Yolanda. Uh... Daco Omar, hey, hello. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jada. Hey, Liz. Hey, Johnny. All right, you guys, let's get started. So, Kimmy, just keep me updated. I don't know if you are trying to come on, but whatever, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, please start with your questions so we can go ahead and get started. Hey, Clayton. Um, and we shall do that. Thank you, Jada. Jada King. I'm sorry. I keep calling you Jada. I'm so sorry. Jada King. Jada King Rocco. Oh, Rocco. All right, Rocco. I haven't seen you in a minute. Hopefully, you'll be at Doing Good in the Hood this Sunday, where we're giving back to children who need assistance. So, hopefully, you guys will show up. All right. So, if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and start them now. Um, if you asked me a question before this moment, please ask again. And we'll go ahead and get started. Keep in mind that whatever question you ask, this is public. So, therefore, everybody can see the answer. We'll be able to see the answer. And that's just how it goes. Okay. Kim, I don't know if you can um, come on or not, but... All right, so Marissa Williams, Candace Smith, do you see success... Do you see... Do you see a successful business in my future and share anything you see? So I'll answer your question that you asked me. Do I see a business successful one? Right now the answer is no. Um, right now the answer is no. You do have a generational attachment, so I would highly recommend that you definitely book a session so you can figure out how to get past that. But right now, the answer is no. Um, doesn't mean it's always going to be that way, but right now, the answer is no. And I'm going based off the energy right now, so the answer is no right now. All right, Kimmy. Uh, Callie Co. Hey. Hey, Callie. Callie, you don't want to ask no questions? Hey, Callie. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kim, I didn't see the request. I didn't see it. Please send it again because I didn't see it. Pamela, do you see my business being successful? Everybody's asking about their business. Actually, you got a yes. So, Pamela, you got a yes. Um, but it's not in what you are thinking. So, you got a yes, but you'd rather do something different. So, whatever idea or plan you have right now, it's a no. But eventually, if you shift something and change your plan then it would be a yes but you have to change something christina um am i with my soulmate no you're not you're not with your soulmate you would a lesson uh a person that's going to teach you a lesson shatoya hello i'm completely lost right now i'm losing everything what lesson am i supposed to learn from these losses you're currently going through a sweep as you guys know, I'm, I've been talking about the sweep for quite some time. Um, the sweep actually started today. So um, it's going to intensify depending on where you are um, with your path and with your lessons and with your cycles. Um, Shatoya, I would highly recommend that you book a session with me so we can go into detail um, to kind of figure out how to get you out of it. Michael, um, I'm currently working on my business. Will it be successful? No, you got to change something. The answer is something like it's a strong no. Um, it's something that you're missing. Um, and it's a very strong no. You're not in the right direction. And you're not using your gifts. or your, It's not your path. So you have to change something to change that no into a yes. All right. <laughs> you going with the flow? Okay. 
You're welcome, Shatoya. Yeah, book a session. Because, I mean, that's what I highly recommend. If there's something that's more intense like that, like if you're on, if you're repeating cycles over and over and over again, we have to figure out why you are and what's actually blocking you so that you can actually move forward. And that's more of a session. So I would recommend that for you. If I can help you, there is nothing I can't do. All right, Kimmy, I don't know why I can't add you on here. That's crazy. That is crazy. But as you guys know, like I said, we're going through this sweep. The sweep started today. Um, I did a whole video about it. I don't know if you're on my business page or not, but if you're on my business page, I did a whole video um, to explain what you're going to be going through during the sweep if you're in the sweep. You're either in it or you're not. Um, and that's just how it goes. If you are in the sweep, you're going to be experiencing some losses um, between now and September 11th. So the sweep actually started today. So if you're in it, there's going to be some... It's, it's, it's a really hard... It, it's going to be a tower moment. Just, just to try to get you to... Um, it's almost like you're getting a spanking. Like a hard head makes a soft butt type of thing. Hey, Karen. Coco, um, I've been feeling like I'm getting closer to discovering my purpose. Do you see uh, Do you see me getting there soon? According to, uh, according to your energy, it's coming up as a no. Um, there's still something that's missing. Karen, I'm actually being led to tell you more. So I told myself I was going to keep the answers very short, but I'm actually led to one, two, three, four, five. Six. So, uh, the thing with you, Karen, and I'm just doing this with Karen because I just feel that too. The thing with you, Karen, is that you don't feel good, you don't feel happy, you don't feel joy. You feel, um, you go in and out of like, like depressive type of energy. And just anxiousness and things like that. When you don't feel good, and I just did a whole video about this, when you don't feel good, good things don't, I don't care what you say, you can, people have a misconception. They think that if you speak things into, if you say I want this, or you say I want this to happen, it's gonna happen. It only happens when your feelings are in alignment with what you're saying. So if you're saying, well, I really want to be financially stable, but internally you feel broken, you feel lost, and you feel like, like bills are the devil and 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 you just don't have enough money you're not, the universe is going to go but your vibration goes you exert energy so your vibrations the universe listens to how you feel what you believe so you can say i want a loving relationship i want to be in love but if you believe that all men are dogs all women are crazy there's nobody out here for me and everybody just the universe can yeah, I hear you. It's just, it's just like a reading right now. So I hear what you guys are saying, but I don't really listen to what you're saying per se as a human. I speak to your subconscious energy, your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is what tells me the truth. And that's how the universe works too as well. So even when I'm talking to my clients, my clients are like, oh yeah, you know, I'm so happy and everything is great. But the subconscious mind is telling me, well, I'm ready to jump off a cliff and I hate myself and I just don't believe in life and I'm just angry and I'm mad. I listen to that, and when I call that out, they're like, oh, wow. Okay, so it, that's, the, that's how the universe works. So you don't feel good internally. So you can say, we can say whatever we want to the cows come home, we can say whatever. But if you don't feel it, if it's not compatible with your words, it's not going to manifest. Okay, so that's just, for whoever needs to hear that, it's not just Karen. But you have to be in alignment with your feelings in your words okay you have to be in alignment with it so in this case because you don't feel good that you don't feel good inside you're not going to manifest what it is that you're seeking because you don't feel good the universe vibrates off of good feelings feeling good that's why i have to travel i feel good when i travel I feel, I feel good when I go to Papa Do's. I love, I feel good. So I do things that I know help me to feel good. Even if I'm having a bad day, I purposely go out and do things to make sure I feel good because I know that I'm not vibrating off of what I'm saying. I'm vibrating off of what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing out into the universe. And that's just how it goes. Whatever you feel inside is what you are manifesting 
It does not have to do with your words. Yeah, words have power, but only if your feelings and emotions are in alignment with your words. That's it. That's how it works. So that's why people, they pray and they, 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 they pray and they beg and they, they ask for things, but they don't feel it inside and it, it never happens and they get frustrated, which creates more bad feelings, which pushes it away even more. So that's how it goes. So Karen, I would recommend that you book a session. Book a session. I guess that's my answer for everything. Book a session. I'll help you. All right. Okay. Um, Marissa says, okay, this is not the first time I've heard about generational curse. Please stop me from moving further. Book your session. I can help you with that. Possibly. So I can't help everybody that has a GA. But in most cases, I've only had like, I've had more cases I can help than not help. So book your session. My website and everything. Kim, could you please post my website, please? Um, but I'll post it too as well on the, um, like the thing, the, uh, the header. Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Will my business be successful? Am I with, uh, am I with my forever? When will my sweet end? So, Crystal, I need you to choose one question and I'll answer it. Okay. Um, Kim, I don't know how to do this. So we, so next time we're going to practice, we're going to do like a, yeah, we have to practice this because I don't know how to even, to look to even see. I'm not computer savvy. I'm, I, I'm not computer savvy. That is not my, for this time I get. Clayton. Okay. I will. So will I ever find the right woman? It's exactly what I just said, Clayton. Exactly what I just said. <laughs> So one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. That's weird. All right. So um, it's kind of what I just said. So your major blocks and attachments are in your heart, your heart chakra. Um, so you you enjoy the idea of love it's just, so here's that and i have to tell you clayton and this is what a lot of people go through you love the idea of love but you don't really trust or believe that real love exists so that typically happens when people are disappointed over and over and over again in life or have abandonment issues okay like mama issues daddy issues abandonment issues for whatever reason it can it doesn't have to be with your parents but just abandonment issues period or um, just have just been really hurt. So you enjoy the idea of love, but Clayton, you're a person that has that fallback, that fallback type of thing, where it's like, if you feel like you're going to be hurt, you fall back. If you have, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a fallback person where you can delete somebody out your life like that, to try to block and protect yourself. You're not ready for a relationship at all. You have to be willing to place all your eggs. In, when you're ready to place all your eggs in one basket and really be open to everything, that's when you're ready. But if you have a fallback, well, if that person don't call me, I'm not calling them. Or they didn't text me first, so I'm not going to text them. Or it's like, if, if you're like that, you're not ready for a relationship. So a lot of people, we as humans have a natural instinct to be... It's, it's natural for us to want companionship. We're humans. It's animal instinct. That's it's, it's all in nature. It's it's natural for us to want a companion, but so it's a, it, it it's the thought of it, the idea. But if this is not, if your heart is not in alignment with the thought, then you're going to continue to manifest. The universe hears you. You're saying, "I want a partner." So the universe, okay, well, if you want a partner, let me try to heal you first. So let me try to put you through some things. I'm going to send a fucked up person into your life to try to push you into loving yourself more, to try to push you into having more value for yourself. I'm going to send another lesson into your life to, to kind of to not treat you right so you'll be like, you know what, I deserve better so that you will come out of it and learn your worth and your value to attract the right type of person so you can heal. So that's what ends up happening when you're not ready for a relationship. You attract lessons. We attract lessons when we're not ready for relationships so that we can be ready for relationships. And that's just how it goes. So you're one of those people that, and I know, and he almost like, you got to stop being so long with people. But it's like, I just feel need to tell you this because I think it's other people that's on here right now that are going through the same thing. You're one of those people that 
enjoy the idea of relationships, but yet don't have the room for it internally or in your heart because you just, you don't trust it. You don't trust love. So therefore you're going to attract lessons until you actually learn your lesson. And once you learn how to love unconditionally and have learned how to accept love, that's when love will come. Marv, I'm going to receive my part. Um, I'm ask, so I'm assuming you're asking, am I going to receive my partner in crime this year? But this year, as in 2019, I'm asking. No. The answer is no. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Um, Michael, the answer is no. Sean Collier, uh, good evening. Hey, how are you? There you go. All right, uh, let's see. I'm trying to get to people that I haven't spoken to yet. Pamela, somebody said the very same thing to you this morning. Okay, there you go, confirmation. How would I know that? Your energy, but that's what your energy is. God speaks to us in so many different ways. You guys start listening. God will speak to you in so many different ways. And if I'm confirming something that someone else has said to you or that you've already been through, that's this is this is God. I I, I am a I'm an earth angel. I'm a, I'm a pure I'm an earth angel with I'm a rebellious earth angel. Okay, I'm not the I'm I'm not always an angel, but got my dark side. Y'all saw my photo shoot. But at the same time, though, like if I'm confirming, that's that's God speaking to you. Listen, just listen. Listen so you can move forward. The universe wants you to win. The universe wants you to win. So listen to the signs. Listen to the messages. Like, you're constantly getting answers. It's just up to you to receive them, keep them, um, and to apply them. All right. Daco Omar, I feel like there is something blocking me from being successful. Are you cursed? First of all, you can't be believing that you're cursed. Stop thinking that. Um... But in this case, you do have a GA. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not, I'm not laughing because it's funny. Um, I, I'm laughing because I just told you to stop believing that, but you actually do have a GA. One, two, three, oh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so your GA is in your heart chakra, which what that does is when you have a generational attachment, I hate the word curse, so I, I say attachment to make it pretty. When you have a generational attachment, what that does is it blocks you from, it's a karma that blocks you from, it limits your success in different areas of your life. It's a karma. It's like a jail sentence. So yes, I would recommend that you book a session so we can go ahead and discuss that and possibly remove it. it they can be removed. Some of them can be removed. If I can remove it, then I will. Um, but if I can't, I don't touch it because you need it for this lifetime. Uh, stuttered. Okay. So is it possible to say it until you believe it? I mean, if you want to, I, I, I believe in affirmations. So I, if you don't believe it, you continue to say it, write it down. Um, he'll tattoo it on you. I don't know, but just, it's this important. You just have to believe it. I don't, again, I don't care what you say. Or what you claim, you can say everything. You can say, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. But if you don't feel happy, it means nothing. You can say everything, but it means nothing if your vibe, if your internal self, if your subconscious energy does not believe, if your internal self does not believe what you are, if you're feeling, I'm not going to say that, if your feelings don't, are not in alignment with your words. So do what you have to do. Turn into a mantra, meditate do whatever but you have to believe it hey Keisha Crystal I forgot your first question can you please repeat it I'm so sorry love okay will your business be successful the answer is no not this one you have to change some things same thing it's your feelings it's, it's, it's how you feel inside so the answer is no right now only right now, based off your energy right now. Does not mean it can't change. But based off your energy right now, the answer is no. Because you don't feel good inside. So the answer is no. Um, Book your session, Crystal. Karen. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Karen. Eric Brown. Oh, thank you. You know what? It's, I've always loved the main. I guess it is the Leo in me. I've always loved the main. Thank you. 
Lip gloss popping. Thank you, Oscar. Oscar is my problem child. Oscar has had uh, a GA removal. He's had the reset. And he's had several small, crazy ass readings. Oscar's my problem child. Ooh, Oscar, you already know. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, you guys, I'm only doing um, one question per person. Dominique, I've been single since 2011. Will I ever find my soulmate? Uh, I don't think you want to be with a soulmate. A soulmate is a lesson. Our soulmates are not like on TV where we are, again, holding hands, running into the sunlight. That's not how soulmates work. Most soulmates are the villains, in, the villains in our life. So they are the ones that come into our lives and wreck shit up to try to push us into growing into a new level. So most soulmates um, have agreed to come into your life as a lesson to try to help you. They're very important lessons, very important teachers. So it's very rare you are with a soulmate in a partnership, very rare. Um, but let me finish your question. I'm sorry, I got to show. I just, I, I, but I wanted to explain that because most people have a misconception of what is, don't, act, don't pray for a soulmate. If you're praying for a soulmate, you're praying for a lesson, ask for a life partner. So if you if you're trying to manifest a partnership, ask for a life partner, not a soulmate. Soulmates usually come here as our greatest teachers to come and break us down in some way to so we can come back up. Okay, so most soulmates are lessons and they don't have to be in relationship. They can be in friendship, they can be in our kids, they can be anything or anybody okay so just know that about soulmates soulmates are our greater teachers to teach us lessons not to come and it's like on tv um so ask for a life partner not a soulmate um why is it so hard to get a man i want that for me i think i kind of answered that question already i think i already answered it for you oh yours is different actually so you have a generational attachment, but I'm surprised it's there and not in your heart. You actually have a generational attachment, but it's not in your heart. So most people who cannot be in or maintain long-term relationships usually have a generational attachment in their heart chakras. But for you, you have it one, two, but you have it in your throat. So that's very different. So, um, okay, so your karma is a little different, which is, I don't get this too often. That's why I was a little shocked because most people, again, with relationship issues, it's always in their heart. But in your case, it's the fact that your karma, so with your generational attachment, it blocks fulfillment. So it causes you to have unfulfillment in life. It reminds me of the energy of like droopy, like droopy the dog. Not saying that you're a dog, but it's like droopy. Um... So Droopy is like, oh, you know, he talks with, I like, um, what's, what's, what's that creature on, um, what's that creature on Sesame Street? Like Snuffy. It's like Snuffleupagus. So, you know how he's just like, oh, you know, I just, life is hard. Life is, it, 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 it's that type of energy. It's almost like it's a sense of how your karma works. It's supposed to limit you with fulfillment. And that's the about the fulfillment, like no matter what you do, no matter what happens, it's fulfillment in love relationships, it's fulfillment, lack of fulfillment when it comes down to work, career, um, just life, just being happy. It's a very blue type of energy, but it's like blue, like it's like how snuffy he is. And not that. Uh, that sucks. So you have a GA. I would recommend, I would highly recommend that you book a session um so that we can look into that it's i don't it may be a possibility it can be removed I, again i'm not, I'm not going to know until i actually look into it but your attachment blocks you from having a sense of fulfillment in life again it's a karma it's not something that i know it's, it's so unfair it really is it's, it's really unfair but that's what you had agreed to before you came here so if it's removable, I can't remove it, but we would have to look into that. I'm sorry, that that sucks. With the, I, I, I can definitely feel the energy. You're welcome, Christine. Thank you, Kim. 
Corey Porter, good evening. Will I be able to open a school? The answer is yes. There you go, straight up yes. Straight up yes. Congratulations. All right. Um, Sean, I, I don't remember if I even asked, if you asked the question, do you see success in me and my loved ones? Near, I'm assuming you're saying near future. No, the answer is no. Uh, the answer is no. We attract a lot of lessons when we need them. Hey, Raymond, peace, love, and light. Thank you so much. I accept that and I send it back to you. Thank you. Hey, Marquise. Hello, Keisha. Wow, well, soulmate. Keisha, I thought you knew that already. Keisha, I'm always talking about that with soulmates. I thought you knew the difference between soulmates and life partners. For now on, pray for a life partner, not a soulmate. A soulmate was, is going to, you'll get a soulmate, but the soulmates are, are there to teach you something. And then like, and then when their time is up, they're going to go. But it's usually something to push you into a different direction. So soulmates, and I'm not trying to like discourage some, we need our soulmates. We have several soulmates throughout our life. We have several soulmates, several. It's that person where you meet them, you have that instant connection, like you already know them. Like, so anytime you meet somebody and you have an instant connection, like you already know them, like, man, I feel like I've known you forever. I feel like I've, I've dated you a whole lot longer than what we've, we've actually dated. No, you're not crazy. It's just, it's, your souls recognize each other and you guys had had a contract we have contracts what ends up happening before we're even incarnated on this planet we as souls come together like okay so candace when um so we turn 33 i'm gonna come into your life i'm, I'm gonna do this and that this is the lesson i'm gonna teach you to, to help you to grow and to be this person okay i'm like okay so because we're just souls right are uh Okay, and Candace, when you're 55, I'm coming to your life. So, so we have con we all have contracts. We all, I don't know if you guys know about, uh, uh, it's called Akashic Records. So we all have soul, soul tie. If you are dealing with anybody that you have a soul tie connection with, you guys have known each other before. You have a contract. You have a contract to come into each other's lives at a certain point in time in your development, wherever you are, to come in and to shift that other person, to either teach them, them teach you or you guys teach each other something for you to expand and grow and get to your higher level and purpose. That's the whole purpose of our soul tie contracts. Some contracts are meant to be permanent, but a lot of our contracts are temporary. A lot of our soul people, our kindred spirits come into our lives as teachers to teach, to try to help to push us into our right direction. Even if it's like not a negative, it doesn't have to be a negative encounter. It could be even me. Hey, I could be some of you guys a soulmate. And I'm here trying, I'm shifting, I've shipped and changed a lot of people around the world, across this planet. I've shipped and changed a lot of people. We have a soul tie connection to all the people that have ever come into my life that I have changed and shifted. We had a contract. We agreed we were going to meet at a certain point of time in life in that either you're going to teach me or I was going to teach you. So every single person, it's a contract. So every person that has a significant purpose in your life, you guys already agreed to that before you were even born. Okay, that's how it goes. That's how it works. Some people are permanent. Some are seasonal. That's why I don't attach to things because a lot of things are seasonal. They're just there to teach you, to help you to get to your, to your purpose, your finish line. So that's how it is. Um, twin flames, it's very rare twin flames come back together in the same lifetime. That's very rare. We all start off as a dual energy, yin and yang. So all of us start off as a dual energy. Um, but we split apart and that becomes your twin flame. Okay. That's, that's your twin flame. What ends up happening with twin flames, twin flames, once they're, once they're incarnated and they come together, things happen to separate you. Okay. So it's very rare that a person would come together and be in a relationship with their twin flame. When you see, now, if you come together with your twin flame, there is nothing but it's like um, the color purple, like uh, like Celie and her sister. Like that's how, it, it, there is nothing that will hold you guys apart. Like you are going to, if you ever find your twin flame, it's going to be like this and you would never split apart. And it, but it's very rare that you guys are in the same lifetime together. 
um, a lot of twin flames come back as your children. So when you have a connection with somebody and it's like this and it's nothing but death that can, that, that can pull you apart, that's likely your twin flame. Um, because it's it's an energetic connection where it's like nothing, and I see actually I've seen a couple like you guys like best friends. It's almost like you are one body. That's how you know it's a twin flame, and it's like you guys walk together. Everything walk. It's all in alignment. That's your twin. But again, that's very rare. That rarely happens when you come together as a relationship. A lot of our twin flames come back as our children are somehow we connect in other lifetimes but it's very rare that you come together in the same lifetime it's very rare but it is real all right uh raymond black life partner is different is different and better than twin flame like man start praying for a life partner let me tell you and pray for a life partner that completes you don't just pray for any old life partner because you get a life partner that can keep you miserable Pray for a life partner that completes you, which means that if you grow, they grow. If they grow, you grow. What you ask for is so imperative. What you want, what you feel, and what you ask for, when they're in alignment, it comes. Meaning, ask for a life partner that completes you. That completes you. If someone completes you, that means that you guys are growing in alignment together. Because what ends up happening is... If you just if you date somebody, let's just say and this happens all. So, so when I reset people, it, for all you guys who've been reset, so when I reset people, I always tell them if you have a partner or a marriage, if your partner's not reset, you're gonna leave them. You're not gonna want them anymore because you attracted them on this vibration. This is where you were. So you were at this vibration when you attracted them, and this is where this partner is. Now, if I reset you, I detach you. You're gonna escalate and elevate to this, to that level which you'll no longer be in alignment with this and you won't have any interest in that person anymore and you will leave them. Like, you'll leave them. And that's the truth. We have to be at the same level with our partnerships. So if you're, likely, if you're a very negative and depressed and miserable person, you likely have a very miserable and depressed... <laughs> they may not show it like you, but you have a person like that. If you're really insecure, you have low self-esteem and have self-love, love, you, your partner likely is the same exact way. They just may not show it the same way that you do, but you guys are at the same level. Let's say that you decide to heal and remove some things from your life. Let's say I reset you. You might do, 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 And you look at them like, oh, you disgust me. You're not going to want to be with them anymore because you're, you're no longer on the same level. And how I compare it is almost like, and I said it last week. If both of you guys are in elementary school, but then something inside of you changes or shifts or something inside of them changes and shifts, what ends up happening is you'll elevate to college. What do you have in common with an elementary school kid? How can you guys talk? You have nothing to talk about. I mean, what gets, is no, you know, you're not compatible. You're going to want other college people. So you're going to leave this person behind. And that's how the split ups and everything happen. When one person grows and the other one does not, you split. You have to be in alignment with the one that you're with. So always pray for, ask for, or try to manifest a life partner that you that, that you are complete with. Therefore, you guys will grow together. That's just how it goes. Whether you believe in energy or not, that's how it goes. Test it. Oh, people are always like, oh my God, you're so right. I'm like, duh, I know. It's my job. All right, so... Um, Michael Phoenix, do you have a, um, well, oh, you already asked the question. All right. Hey, Robert. Uh, <laughs> his name is not, yeah, Igor. That's, that's another one, Igor. They always have a depressed type of creature in all those cartoons. They need to stop doing that. Yep, Igor is the same way. Like, oh, you know. Like, so what's the blue girl's name in, um, oh, never mind. All right, Keisha. Um, well, Leah, let's do Leah first. Leah, do you have any advice or messages for me on my energy? Leah, that's a very general question. I would recommend that you book a session or be more specific with asking. Please ask your questions more specifically. Thank you, because there's a lot of things I can say about your energy. Keisha, is there a baby on the way for me? Q 
Keisha, the as of right now is coming up as no. Um, and it's kind of the same. It's a belief system thing. It's something in the... It, it's the... Keisha, call me. Just this call me. Keisha, we, we have... So Keisha's one of my amazing students and one of my protégés. Keisha, call me directly. I don't even want to talk about this live. So, so we'll talk personally. Um, okay. Because I really don't want you... Uh-oh. I did it again. I think I keep swiping the phone up. Keep swiping as I'm trying to swipe up the... There we go. All right, let's see here. Um, if I'm skipping past you, it's because you already asked the question, and so I want to get everybody. Uh, Robert, can I reach more people on my current journey? Protect with without partner right now. Can I... Wait, can I reach people on my current journey? No. Project with or without people. Uh, you're, you, uh, Robert, you're not on the right path. That's that's not your path. Um, whatever you're doing right now is not your path. You have to switch. You have to change something within your path. That's not it. Ugh. I keep, so, y'all, I keep swiping up. I'm sorry. So, my Android is... I have a Note 8, and so when I swipe, hold on, wait a minute, turn, turn back around. There we go. Sorry. All right. Mark Green, this is dope. That's what's up. I'm a Leo. What do you expect? We're all dope. <laughs> Leo season. Hey, Yolanda. Yolanda is, okay, you guys, you guys have to check out her products. Um, I have some amazing, so uh, again, uh, Yolanda has had the reset. I forgot what else you have. Like, uh, but you've had a lot, Yolanda, with me. But she now has her own, like, natural, um, all kinds of healing products and everything. I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. Mix. Hey, Mix. How are you? Hello. All right. Um, I saved, what, what did I save? I said I saved something. Ra, do I have Egyptian... You have an Egyptian um, within your soul line. Well, let me, uh, okay, well, that's, so one thing I love, I love to um, to go through Akashic Records. So Akashic Records, just really quick, um, just to kind of educate some of you guys. So what Akashic Records are, it's like your soul's um, life path. So as you guys know, we have had many lifetimes in different bodies, in different races, in different cultures, as man, woman, and everything. So we have had so the Kashik records is like your it's like your track record um so i love to like go into it's so much fun going into a person's Akashic records it's really it's really like your record um and it shows everything about like all your past lives and everything like that so when i do like past life readings or like uh, hypnosis it's so fun to, like to go into that because man i had one person that literally like walk with jesus now so just really quick, um, I did not fully believe in Jesus until I went into a person's life path through <laughs> through their Akashic records. And Jesus, they actually had uh, a strong role in walking with Jesus. Jesus is real. The only reason why I even know Jesus is real is because going through that person's Akashic records, I was able to see where they began. And it was with Jesus. Now, Jesus is not... Um, the character in the Bible that the story of Jesus is our is all of our stories. You know, um, we come from the divine. Um, we come here with a like major purpose. We wake up. If you wake up, you're criticized. People make fun of you. You're ridiculed, and all that other stuff. And you go through a death. That the death represents your spiritual awakening. So it's the same story as Jesus. So we all go through that story, but it's, it's a matter of do you resurrect or not? Do you come out of that death or not? So a majority of people stay dead. But a lot of people, if you are one that wakes up spiritually and actually goes into your path and purpose, you're the one that resurrects and comes out and goes to the highest vibration to go into your path and purpose. So the story of Jesus is a great story in the Bible, but the Jesus that I've been able to access is not 
the character that's in the Bible. However, Jesus is real. I would say, it, yes, Jesus was a master healer and teacher, number 33. If you're a person that always sees number 33, Jesus is walking with you because you're a healer and a teacher. If you constantly see 33, that's the energy of Jesus Christ, the master healer and teacher, which means you have a very high vibrational purpose. You have a major purpose in life, a major purpose in life to change the world, to change the world. That's your sign and signal. And this is coming up like so strong, like so strong. So it's not what you see in the Bible. However, Jesus was a master healing teacher. And I'm telling you guys, even all you spiritualists, because you guys know I'm a spiritualist. I'm not religious. I don't believe in religion. I don't. I think it's, it's man-made and controlled. I don't believe in religious. But I do have a very strong personal connection with God and with Jesus because Jesus helps me to heal people as a master healer and teacher, which I am too as well. And that's where my master came from because I am governed. That's like my boss. And again, I didn't believe in that until I accessed this woman's, uh, and it came to me, but it was meant for me to do that. So with that being said, Akashic Records, getting back to the subject, um, Egyptian. Yes, you do. You do have like a lot of Egyptian, but you also too, that's so weird. Okay, so most people who have Egyptian within them have a lot of Native American within them too as well, but you don't have Native American. You have a lot of Egyptian energy. Um, there are one, two, three, sorry you guys, at the end soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're a very old soul, Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So a majority of your life was in you. You have um, you have a very spiritual path, a very spiritual path, Ra. Um, a very spiritual path. You have a lot of Egyptian energy. Um, so as you guys know, and as it's whether you believe in it or not, but a lot of the Egyptian symbols, the pyramids, that's all extraterrestrial. That's what it is. And it's a power of manifestation. That's what this whole entire, the whole universe is governed by extraterrestrial energy. So the pyramids, everything. So you have more extraterrestrial in you than you have human in you. So that's why you probably are so different and don't like, like you don't fit in or you don't stand in or whatever. And I always kind of feel like you don't belong here. If you're in that, so you have like a lot of, extra, and, and that's very much Egyptian, ancient Egyptian. That's all extraterrestrial. All those signs, symbols, um, the gods and goddesses, that's all extraterrestrial. Um, when, if, if you ever master that energy or understand what those symbols, what the pyramids really mean, that's all like the eye, everything, that's all extraterrestrial. Once you understand that, that's when you will like really understand your power. If you can get it, you guys, I have to go because my phone is like, listen, you run up too much, uh, like too much space in, in, in all kinds of storage. So I just had a warning, but, um, I think my hour is up anyway. So if you do want to book a personal session with me, go to my website, which is posted all over like the whole channel. Um, please share my video. And, um, if you need me, you know how to contact me, you guys be blessed. Take care. Good night. I gotta go feed my baby. And, um, thank you for Thanks for participating. Thanks for coming on my live. You guys take care. Bye.